Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. <clears throat> um, right now, Gemini, we have the hangman here. So things looks like there is no movement here. Okay. Someone has surrendered the connection and just letting it go, letting it flow, moving on with the connection. Not moving on, but definitely someone who's just like uh, not doing anything about the situation, okay? I feel you guys are in separation or there's just no communication right now. <clears throat> or in the current situation right now, I feel someone wants to move towards you, okay? And this person is coming towards you very, very willing and strong will to move things forward with you, okay? With the chariot and the page of cups here, there's someone who's coming towards you with an apology, okay? <clears throat> this is also emotional communication, but I do feel as someone who's wanting to open up to you, okay? After a period of stagnation here. On your mind is the hermit here, okay? So you've completely isolated yourself, withdrawn, and uh, you're taking a step back, okay? You just, you're just constantly withdrawn from this breakup separation that you've had, and you're trying to wonder what's really the right thing for you to do. You're wondering if this relationship is the right thing for you to do, or should you move on, should you back out? But a lot of what, when, where, how, why, okay? A lot of self-introspection going on. The root of the issue, the reason for the reading is the Ace of Swords in reverse here. So that's what the problem is. There is no clarity here. A lot of confusion here, okay? Someone's suppressing the truth because of which there is this lack of, you know, things moving forward. There's a lack of breakthrough here. <clears throat> in the past year with the Two of Swords here, there was someone here who had to make a decision, but they chose not to. Someone was living in denial. Both of y'all were not addressing the elephant in the room is what I'm getting, okay? But yeah, someone was in the land of indecision. Someone did not make a choice of whether they wanted to move towards you or not. However, in the near future here, we have the Knight of Wands here. Someone's moving forward towards you, but guess how you're going to welcome them? With the Queen of Swords here, you are going to be like, no, I've seen that before. I've seen that before. Don't you dare come back. Come to me with that flaky, flighty energy of yours, okay? But they're coming in because they're passionate about you. <clears throat> and look how willing they are to come towards you with the charity. This is someone who's hell-bent on moving things forward, okay? They're finally taking control of the situation here after going through that period of stagnation. This person is finally trying to see things from a different perspective, okay? They're trying to see things from a different point of view. But you're going to welcome them with the Queen of Swords here. Like, yeah, I don't like what I hear and I cut your head the fuck off. Because in your emotions here, you're holding back. You're in the state of shutdown here, okay? With the Queen of Cups in reverse here, in, uh, in what's in your environment that you don't see coming is someone who's emotionally unavailable right now, okay? Someone's very hurt, okay? Someone's very hurt here. Someone's being very cold, very detached, okay? But I feel one person here who's suppressing their emotions, okay? And they're no longer um, uh, giving into this connection, okay? But someone definitely here who's hurt is what I'm getting. Now remember, this could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with, okay? One person's coming in towards you or one person's very clear about what you want whilst the other person here is very, very, um, you know, <clears throat> shut off emotionally. Uh, four of Swords is the outcome here, which means that there is still that lack of communication here or there's still, someone's coming towards you, but I don't think you're quickly going to, you're going to be quick to take action towards them. Okay, because the Four of Swords is energy where you're processing a certain thought, okay, processing, processing a certain situation. Thinking a lot, okay, brainstorming, but still not doing anything about it. <clears throat> What's the hangman here? Why is this the overall energy here for Gemini? Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. There has been someone's kept you stuck, and this is someone who's emotionally unavailable, or because someone was emotionally unavailable, there was stagnation in this connection here. What's the King of Cups in reverse? <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, yeah. Looks like this person is coming in, okay, wanting to make things correct with you, okay? This is someone who you left out in the cold, you isolated them, iced them out, or this could be the person who did this to you, okay? But someone wanted a balance here, equal give and take, but they were not getting it, okay? Because one person out here was just emotionally shut off. We had the King of Cups and Queen of Cups, but they're both in the reverse. So you're both choosing to shut off your emotions, okay, or disconnect emotionally, but I feel you both have a lot of love for each other, but you're choosing to keep quiet about it, okay? <clears throat> you're both thinking more logically is what I'm getting. You're both trying to make a very head over heart decision, you know, rather than being in your elements of the water elements, king and queen here of cups, right? You both have a lot of love for each other, but you're just looking away from each other right now, okay? Because one of you is wanting that balanced relationship here, but things are just not moving forward. 
What's the chariot here in the current situation? What is this chariot here? Yeah. Someone's letting go of the load and wanting to move forward here with the Ten of Wands in reverse here. The fool at the bottom of the deck. Looks like there's someone here who wants to make a leap of faith, who wants to take start all over again from scratch. Again, the fool is someone who doesn't who doesn't have commitment, okay? This person likes to stay free. They like to be on their own. They don't like to be in a relationship, okay? Someone who just embraces freedom, okay? So be careful about that. What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? <clears throat> King of Pen uh, King of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So you could definitely be dropping a situation with someone who is non-committal or someone who is not seeking commitment, okay? <clears throat> What's the page of cups here? Why is this the influence here? Why is the page of cups here? Yeah, there's a lack of reconciliation, okay? The challenge here is for someone to open up, express themselves emotionally, but someone's not doing it. That's why there's a lack of reconciliation here, okay? Because this person is still not communicating with you. Communication seems to be the biggest key out here, okay? Eight of cups fell out. So you could have walked away from the situation or are planning to, okay? One of you did. But yeah, there is a lack of reconciliation here because someone is constantly keeping their emotions to themselves and not opening up, okay? What's the hermit here on your mind? Why is the hermit here on your mind? Queen of Pentacles. Oh my god, you guys are just so shut off to each other, you know? You're both on your own. You're both focusing on yourself. So you are choosing, you know, you've literally isolated yourself like I'm hearing, okay? You're flying solo. You need your time away from this person because you are very focused on your own self, your career, your goals. You know, you're wanting to... You're both being... So this person was someone who you let go of, okay? Because it was a very burdensome situation with this person because they were just not committing. They were very greedy with their energies in the past year. Now what's on your mind is you're being very greedy with your energies, okay? And it's because you've done a lot of thinking, a lot of... Um, soul searching okay but what you really need to do and you come to a realization that you want to shut off to this person here what's the queen of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> six of wands in reverse yeah because things were not moving forward there's a situation here where things were not moving forward you weren't getting the public recognition that you wanted you probably wanted commitment you wanted this person to put a label on this connection and that was just something that was not happening and something was a disappointment something just failed in the past okay and you're like you know what i'm no longer investing my energies into this because that's the kind of realization or epiphany that you've had <clears throat> what's the ace of swords here why is this ace of swords in reverse here this is the reason for the reading why is the ace of swords in reverse here Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, there is no movement here, okay? This is the reason for the reading. The root of the issue is that, A, there is a lack of clarity here because someone's just not moving forward. Or because there is no clarity or no communication here, there's one person here who's just sick, tired, and fed up of investing into a situation where they feel strung along. <clears throat> Give me one more card for the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups, yeah, this was a relationship that someone wants, okay? You both want this relationship here, but it's just not reaching that point of commitment here, okay? Someone wants this, but either there's someone here who's just slow, very slow to take action towards you, or they're just not moving right now, okay? Because of which there is no clarity here, and you feel someone's just not giving you closure, or they're just not giving you the truth. You don't know the real situation here. What's the two of swords in the past? Temperance, yeah. See, you had a lot of patience with someone who was keeping you at a crossroads, okay? Someone was taking, being very, very slow and patient with the progress, but someone kept you waiting, okay, on making a decision. Page of Pentacles in reverse here. This is someone who was very immature that you were dealing with. This was someone here who probably kept thinking a lot about whether they wanted to invest in you or not, or they just gave, gave you very small, subtle offers, okay, which didn't hold any stability. They didn't, it didn't hold anything long term. You know, very immature person that you were dealing with. And you were very patient with them in the past year, okay? They just wouldn't make a decision. But you were just going with the flow. And that's why probably you cut them off, okay? Because it was getting too much for you, right? Waiting for communication. What's the Knight of Wands coming into the near future? Ace of Wands in reverse. This is someone who you've had a very on and off connection with, okay? That's the kind of person who's coming in with the Nine of Wands here. <laughs> You could be very guarded with this person or this person could be someone who has their guards up, okay? Someone who has severe trust issues. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the near future. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands in the near future. What is this Knight of Wands in the near future? The Sun.
one in reverse still lack of clarity right see someone's coming in finally okay to express their emotions but i don't think there's a lack of new start here with this person because with the sun in reverse here i think you're absolutely <coughs> you're lacking optimism in this situation okay probably someone who's coming in was very immature okay there's a lot of growing up to do because you're fed up and tired of you know this on and off connection something this doesn't seem to get off ground with you okay with this person here because see in the past also this person was non-committal and uh, they refused to open up okay and you're like you know what i don't want these games anymore you're done with their games and you don't want this new start with this person who's rushing in this is someone who's a player flaky flighty you know insincere What's the Page of Swords here? What's the Queen of Swords here? This is how you see yourself. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're cutting out someone immature. Okay, for sure. This is someone with the Four of Wands here who you feel is your Twin Flame soulmate connection here. This is a strong soul connection you feel with this person but you're cutting them off because this person gives you a runaround, right? They give you the runaround. Someone who does not communicate properly or someone who just keeps you hanging on around there, you know, for a conversation. Clarify the Page of soul Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're cutting them out. Why is the page of wands in reverse? Two of wands in reverse. Could be someone here, you know, who was very indecisive about you or in the past they tried to stick to a safer decision, okay? That's why they were not communicating because this person was not being able to choose you, you know. Not, could be two people that they were had to choose from or two different paths, okay. I'm getting that the two of wands is more like left or right. Do I do this or do I not do this? It's very, very absolutely opposite, okay. The directions are. So this person was like a more like a break, make or break situation. And that's what happened in the past year with the two of swords here. This person just wouldn't make a choice or they would just stick to the safer comfort zone, you know. That's what's happening here. They don't want to explore the side that comes towards you because they want to stay with a decision that they know that they are more um, aware of okay they, they didn't want to explore a new path with you okay and that's the kind of person you're cutting off okay this person kept you in the dark and kept you in the dark with the moon here okay there was a lot of unknown energy you never knew what was going on you probably thought this person was holding a lot of secrets okay but this person could be someone here who loved you a lot but they repressed their emotions okay what's the queen of cups in reverse What's the Queen of Cups in reverse here? Wheel of Fortune. So this person who you're dealing with, this is someone here, you know, who wants a reconciliation with the Three of Swords in reverse here. They want to move forward, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this person wants change out here. But when it comes to opening up emotionally, they're choosing not to open up. They're very insecure in this connection, okay, or they don't trust this connection enough to open up. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? This person wants change. See, with the moon here, I keep getting the moon here. This person has a lot of fear of the unknown. You're definitely dealing with someone with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're someone who you had an ending with, okay? So things ended badly. Now this person is here wanting to, you know, get this relationship back, okay? They want to recover from this relationship. You've hit rock bottom with this person, okay? Now they want to get this relationship back from that brink of failure. But the problem here is they won't say anything, you know? They just choose to shut off. Again, the emotions are there, but they choose to shut off. They'd rather um, keep quiet, you know? And go through the ringer then open up about it that's the problem here it's all suppressed the emotions are suppressed the deep emotions that they feel it's all put in the back burner here okay they feel a lot but they're not addressing their feelings is what i'm getting here okay there's a very strong energy of wanting to heal this connection and get back okay but they're just not doing it <clears throat> why the four of pentacles in your hopes and fears Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, you're holding back from a commitment. I feel that with a Hierophant in reverse, yeah, I feel you were the one who was very committed to this relationship. Okay, one of you was and now one of you is losing faith. Okay, and you're holding back. You're in the state of shutdown because now you no longer have faith uh, that things will work out. Okay, it's almost like you don't feel this is your person anymore because you've gone through a lot with this person. You first had a lot of, um, you know, belief. And a very strong belief that this is the one for you. But you're no longer doing it. You're, you're, you're holding back from committing to this person here. I think you felt very strongly connected to this person here. You thought it was a spiritual connection. But now you're just... Um, and I feel you're questioning your belief system. You're questioning your commitment. Do you really still want to commit to this person without this person being in that equal give and take with you? You want to commit to them or you have been committed to them. Has this person been committed to you or do they have the potential to commit to you? Okay. That's what you're questioning, your beliefs. Why the hierophant in reverse here? 
Because see, you're holding back, right? You're just not ready to open up. See, the lovers here, that's what I'm saying. You feel a strong soul tie connection to this person, okay? You do. It's a connection that you can't shake off. But you're forced to make a very head over heart decision here, okay? You're not taking action towards this person. Or you're just dealing with someone who's very laid back. They don't tend to leave the role. Why is the Four of Swords here as the outcome? The judgment here. Give me one more card. Why is the judgment here? Yeah. Someone's coming back. Someone wants a reconciliation with you. Okay. See, Four of Wands, bottom of the deck. There is a reunion here. For sure, someone's coming back. This person can't move on from you. This person wants a reconciliation here, okay? You're resting, rejuvenating here, okay? But there's someone here who wants a second chance with you. And this person is wanting to come back. They want to come back to you. They're making a decision. They're making a final choice of returning back, okay? Because they can't move on. They're stuck on you. This person's stuck on you. They cannot move forward no matter how much they try. Like I said, right, like the, in your environment that you don't see coming, there's someone here who wants to move things forward, okay? They want to move towards the unknown, for sure. This person is more like I'm getting the person who feels the fear and they're let, yet going to do it. They want to move towards you. They want growth expansion with you, okay? They, they see you in their future and they want that positive change here. But when it comes to emotionally op opening up, I feel this person is still not opening up, okay? They're still keeping those emotions to themselves. Someone's being very cold, pretending to be cold, whereas that's not the situation here. And you are the other hand here when it comes to how you see yourself. You're cutting someone off who's just in and out with you in communication. This person could be someone, you know, like I said, right? Someone who just didn't make a decision in the past here. Okay, and that's the kind of person you're dealing with. That's the kind of person you're cutting off. In the near future, I think you're running away from a new start here. Someone's coming in towards you, okay, with a brand new start here, but there's this lack of opportunity here. Something doesn't get off ground because, again, you're still lacking clarity here, okay? So I do see as someone coming towards you, but the, you're just not going to be in it for sure. You're running away from a new start, although there is a potential here. Because see here, in the current situation, <clears throat> Someone's wanting to move towards you with a chariot here, okay? For sure. Or this could also be you moving forward here because you're releasing a, a person who was becoming too much of a stress, okay? Too much of a burden. You were very overwhelmed and you're dropping the load. And this could be a person who is just not seeking commitment. Like I said, someone who is just non-committal, okay? Someone needs to talk here is what I'm getting here. Ace of Swords in reverse. This is your biggest issue out here, okay? You're dealing with someone here who's not even... You know, who's not communicating with you, okay? This person, Ten of Cups, they want that happily ever after with you. But someone's just not moving towards that happily ever after. There's just a lack of movement here, stagnancy, no forward movement here. You know, someone's not investing right now. This person could be someone who's anyways very slow moving towards you. And right now, they're not even doing anything about it. And that's your biggest blockage out here. But they're coming back. They're coming back. There is going to be a reconciliation between you guys. You guys will reconcile for sure. But it's just that you will reconcile only because you feel the strong connection with this person. But when it comes to commitment, I don't know how committed you're going to be to this person. Because I see you in a state of shutdown. You're being too stubborn and you're going to have trust issues. I don't think you're going to jump in like, oh yeah, hi, you're back. Okay, like let's just get back to where we started or something like that, you know. Like, like let's pick up from where we stopped. I don't think so. Because you're not being as committed to this person as you were in the past, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this resonates with you. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.